Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorhome and Adventures. Hi indeed. It's October and we're off to Birmingham. And oh yes. That can only mean one thing really. Yeah. It? Yeah. Caravan and motorhome show. We got some vans to show you. We got some other bits to show you. Needless to say, let's get on and straight into the films. Enjoy. Wow, look at this lovely thing. On the Heimer stand here. Big tag axle, 8.99 metre van. Lovely garage at the back here. Checker plated on the floor there. Some of the extra infill cushions. Hydraulic raising bed or electronically. Look at that lovely out outdoor shower plumbed in there. Straight the way through there. Certainly get a scooter or two in there, couldn't you? As you can see there, a big 450 kilo garage limit for loading at the back there. It's not lovely. Real monster this, a couple of centimetres short of nine metres. Lovely Mercedes dash, look at the space at the front here. That is a massive distance from up to the front, uh, huge distance. All the storage you possibly need, but it's got to be a metre from the dash up to the screen, a huge space. Screens coming across here for your blackout screens. Lovely upholstery here, really squishy, adjustable seat there, adjustable table I should say, and then look at all these storage areas. Batteries access, lots of, lots of bits and pieces accessible, fuse boxes. sort of material as you come in there you see this lovely finish look at that with the um, electronic drop down bed there let's show you a few other bits and pieces there got these lovely sort of roll effect catches which are really nice very ergonomic Isn't this lovely galley as well? Gas controls there, lovely pull out. Plenty of storage under there. Of course, you've got to have a bit of shoe storage perhaps there, haven't you? There's another. Another bit of floor space under there. Access to some more of your electricals. Bit of the heating system. Make it all nice and accessible to get to places like that, which is sometimes quite difficult. There's a huge, huge cavity of a storage space in there. Going back, might as well open this one as well. Absolutely enormous. This is a bit bigger, a Some of these galley fittings as well. Really nicely done. Truffle gas burner there. A 
What a fantastic finish. And then over the other side, got the uh, pull out larder units. This lovely big bathroom area with a door. Door opens across there to shut the whole bathroom and bed area off. Toilet opening there into a space with plenty of cupboard space. Just a little bit more of everything in a van which is this size, absolutely colossal. And then this wardrobe space here. Almost like a dressing room, you could call it, couldn't you? Spectacularly good. That's an extra That's cracking. Let's just get some light in there for you. Our headrests are under the seat. There we go. And then down the bottom here. The headrests are now in the drawer, so it's in the bathroom. Can you put them there? Yeah. Lovely. Access to everything, water tanks in there. And then this lovely island bed. Yet more little hatches under here. Look at those little cubby holes, little spaces. They've used absolutely every bit of storage, haven't they? Access to a bit of the water system and a few more electrics. at the back there. Little pocket doors that slide across there. Storage switches, little shelves. They've absolutely packed this with just about anything and everything that you could possibly want in a motorhome. Big hanging space. And then of course a little bit more storage under here. See headrest from the front units there. Imagine a lovely squishy mattress there. Superb comfort. Look at this lovely vanity sink unit. A bit of a deeper one there. My favourite was still the pocket door, the one where you got hold of this side and both sides closed at the same time. That was great. But still, I think I could, uh, I think I could suffer the uh, suffer in here in silence, couldn't you? Isn't that lovely? I'll let you know how much it is in a moment. Any guesses? Heimer, 8.99 metres. And there you've got the magic figure. Look at that, 203,000. So now let's just have a think at the moment. So you've got, it's five and a half tonne, so you've obviously got plenty, plenty of payload as you can imagine, but we're at 8.9, so we've seen the, um, if you've had a look on the channel, you'll see we've got some films from here at the uh, motorhome show. We've got the uh, Contiki's on there, we've got the Grand Frontiers on there, all of which are up around the 9 metre mark, but what a difference in price. You know, from the, um, 
Chopper and the Contiki's, which are just over 100k, up to the uh, up to a similar sized A-class motorhome, but but um, you know, 90,000 pounds more. Is it 90,000 pounds more build quality? Certainly, if you've been following our films on the channel, you'll see a lot of the interior is very like, you know, I mean, there's probably only one or two big suppliers of some of the interior uh, bits and pieces that they fit that make up your galley kitchen and your bathroom and all those sort of areas. So it's all very similar designed and wood panelling and that. So let me know in the comments what you think. Is it worth another 90,000? for the Contiki almost nine meter van to a Hymer at 200 and whatever it was, 203, 204,000. Somebody's gonna get into a lot of trouble as well, aren't they? When they brought this in, obviously caught it on the door somewhere. That'd be a bit of respraying required there. Yeah, so anyway, if you own one of these, I bet you'd swear by that extra value, but let me know what you think about the Hymer B890. Lovely van though, isn't it? Absolutely cracking van. And here's a comparison. So here's a much smaller Hymer on the same uh, Hymer stand here. This is the MLT 580. It's obviously coach built with a cab at the front there. Same color. But a nicely, uh, I like the initial feel as you come in. Really nice use, nice headrest there. Some quite nice panelling there. Built-in blinds on the window there. That lovely Mercedes, Mercedes dash there, with all the usual refinements you'd expect. Plenty of room up here though. Extra room created by this little lift-up piece at the side there. Triple burner. That's quite a nice touch, isn't it? This uh, tap, that's very nice, that, I like that. Little inside sink there. Looks like you're going to be subject to a test tube test there with those. Very nice, too. Oops. Then these. Um, these are quite nice, these little leather tabs and the catches there. TV slot there. And then there's your shower. Again, those black, uh, black fixture fittings, really nice that. Lovely big fridge here. Look at that. Cracking built-in freezer at the top there, but but um, yeah. Nice domestic fridge that. And a very nice wardrobe space. These spaces at the back here as well, lovely size that hanging rail again. There's your twin steps up. And a lovely big size bed space at the back here. Very nice too. And then look at that just under the hatch here. Got your little ladder that slides up there. Very nice. 
almost. So there you go. That was the uh, MLT 580. It's a seven metre van. 133k. With that twin bed layout that we saw there. So we've gone from their monster 9 metre A-class to their coach-built 7 metre. Some amazing vans that they offer there. Let's see what else they've got on the stand here at Heimer. They'll perhaps uh, give you a quick glimpse of. Well, of course, he says, turning around and seeing the... Um, now this one, I think it's the Grand Canyon, this one called. The Grand Canyon S. This is obviously, look at that. Look at these BF Goodriches on there. 4x4 four four, obviously, look at the height of it off the ground. Of course, electric step. I think I remember this at last year's show coming out and it was a sort of new model at a, and then it was at about 120 odd K. There you can see these signature types of little leather tags and catches on the uh, draw handles. Let's pop a couple of those uh, open. Some of your gas there. That's your extension to your work surface on the side there. Yep. Kitchen storage, there's your ladder. Up to your pop top, let's have a little look up there. Lovely, some reading lights up here. There's Storm Babbitt on the way in October 2023 that I was just reading about at lunchtime. Not sure I'd want to be in the top of this in Scotland. With Storm Babbitt coming through, but um, much rather be on the Mediterranean, perhaps, or on Lake Hansi in 33 degrees. Little fold out table there as your front passenger seat swivels around, as does the driver's seat. There's that lovely Mercedes dashboard again. All more cons. Let's take you back to the fridge on the left here. Little inbuilt freezer. Lots of little spaces to hide things away. Little lockers up the top here. And then all around the bed space as well. Got those little locker spaces. Transversely positioned double bed. Let's have a little look in here. It's your toilet and sink unit which of course doubles up as this, as your shower unit that pulls out. So it's like a miniature wet room really. Obviously the sink folds away if you're in shower mode. But of course underneath it gives you a cracking load of storage under there. That's one thing that Hyman do do very well is the uh, is they squeeze in really innovative storage ideas everywhere. We'll go around the back and that'll give you a better idea of the uh, of how they do the rear. So this is the back of it there then. So we pop these open. Space, plenty of space there for your gas. But then. Um, Lashing points you see they provide there and what they're hiding away in the floor here. Yeah, it looks like water probably in there. Some fuses in there, a little bit of storage. Bit of door pocket flexi storage at the back. But yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly lifted off the ground, that's for sure. So, what do you think? What do you think this year's price is for our 4x4 
There we go, Grand Canyon S from Hymer. I don't even know yet, so let's go and find out, see what it costs at our October 2023 prices. It costs, yeah, about the same as I remember it from last year, so 127. It's under six metres, two or four berths, big 4.1 tonne, so but blimey, the height of it. I mean, I'm not sure. They might have raised it up a little bit on the suspension, but uh, to make it look big and bulky as they do, but um, that's literally at my, uh, my head level, so that's nearly at uh, over five foot off the ground just to get to the windscreen wipers. So there it is, the Grand Canyon. Let me know if you've got one of those. I'd love to know how it drives and what it's like to, um, what it's like to use. Lovely big van. So there you go, there's a bit of a mix, isn't it, from the massive nine metre 200k to our smaller one here, over 100, to this one over 100. Look at this one as well, the Venture S. That's some sort of smart looking thing, isn't it? Look at that pop top. Wow. Got quite a presence, hasn't it? Quite a look to it. Colouring and the markings and those monster tyres. It definitely has quite a presence on the road, but. Really innovative as well. That uh, looks like it's a sort of specially insulated type pop top. Look how it hinges up from the right from the front there. Yeah, another very interesting Heimer. I mean, I must say it's quite. Um, it's quite innovative with a sort of drop-down tailgate. Just got your bike rack fitted on the back there and everything. I expect that's quite a weight as well, but but if you back that up to Lake Hansi and had that view out the back of your out the back of your Heim Adventure, then that would be uh, that would be quite a view, wouldn't it? Quite interesting. It's a sort of Land Rover Defender meets uh, meets motorhome meets a number of other things, I think. But certainly quite an eye-catcher, that's for sure. Six and a half metres. Look at that, though. I mean, that's more money than that massive nine-metre one we first in. 228,000. Heimer Venture S. Wow. Of course, do check out the channel because we'll be wandering around some of the uh, rest of the fabulous show here. Check out the rest of the channel. A lot of films coming from the uh, 2023, October 2023 Motorhome Show. Um, we'd love to have you along. So if you caught this film and want to see a few of the others, then do think about subscribing. It's free. And we'll see you on the next film. Hi, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the film. Mm. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed this review then uh, please subscribe to the channel um, as there are many more reviews of motorhomes and camper vans on there absolutely yes god wasn't that fun love a bit of caravan and motorhome show so look out for the next one plenty coming from the october 2023 caravan and motorhome show we'll see you again soon see you guys bye guys <laughs>